Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and as you know, the Next Generation Science Standards places increased emphasis on the teaching of engineering and engineering practices. Now, to most students, engineering might mean the construction of a bridge or the building of roads. However, I'd like to take a look at a totally different discipline of engineering, chemical engineering, and to do that, I have a great activity to show you. For this activity, you'll need the following materials. Cups, in order to mix up the ingredients. And notice that I've already marked these cups with the levels of the various liquids that need to be poured into these cups. Makes measuring a lot easier later on in the process. Also, spoons to mix up what we've got. In addition, we'll need white glue. Any white glue from a classroom works great. Plus, we'll need the laundry detergent additive called borax. You need to get borax, so find it in a local shopping market. Also, we'll need water. And since we're dealing with materials which might be skin irritants, it's important to have both gloves and safety glasses. So, let's begin by putting on our safety gloves. Okay, gloves are on. Time for the safety glasses. Now let's proceed. First, we need to mix up a solution of the borax and water. So what we'll do is use this cup right here. And notice, as I said before, it's been marked with the measurement of water that we'll need. And we're going to add about one half teaspoon of borax to this cup. Next, we need to add water to that 25 mil mark. So let's take our water and add it. Okay, there we go. And we'll use this spoon right here to mix up our borax and water solution. That's done, and let's set it aside right here. Next, we need to mix up a solution of white glue and water. We need to dilute the white glue because within this bottle here, the white glue is too concentrated and we need about a one-to-one -one mixture of white glue and water. So we're going to add 25 mils of white glue right up to that mark that I've got on the cup. And there we go. We've got 25 mils of white glue in here. And we need to add 25 mils of water to make that one-to-one -one mixture. So we'll add the water right up to that 50 mil mark. Perfect. Then we'll use the other spoon to stir that up. And as I stir it, you can see that the white glue has become diluted and it flows much more easily. Perfect. Now that we have the two ingredients, it's time for us to mix them up and do a little bit of chemical engineering. So we're going to add the white glue solution to this cup right here. Then to it, we're going to add the borax. Next, we need to stir that mixture. And as I'm stirring this mixture, a chemical reaction is taking place. In fact, I can feel it because the mixture is getting much thicker and harder to stir. And we'll mix this up really well. Look at that. You can see right now, yuck. <laughs> How far can we go with this? <laughs> that the mixture is taking on other properties. No longer is it a flowing liquid, but it seems to be this sticky, gobbly mess. And we're going to keep mix mixing it, and it's sticking to that spoon. And right now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take this mess that we've made right here and remove it from this mixing cup. and begin to squeeze out some of the water and move it around. And look at what we've got here. This is great. 
In scientific chemistry terms, this is called a polymer. What we've done is we've taken those particles, the molecules that make up white glue, and with the added borax, those molecules have joined together and formed a much longer, more solid-like material that we see right here. This is great. Look at that. And the students can later try different types of mixture concentrations. They can see how that affects the properties of this final substance that they create. And as you can see, this is a great and wonderful demo to show chemical engineering, what chemists do. They create new chemicals, new substances based upon needs. And sometimes they're accidental discoveries. Anyway, these new substances have their own specific properties. So you can tie this not only to engineering DCIs and engineering performance expectations, but this activity also works great for looking at what we need to teach in chemistry according to the next generation science standards.